Hey everybody, got a quick tip for you. A lot of people buy these friction type calls. These happen to be double glass. They all work the same. Friction uh, makes them make the sound. You got double glass like these. You got slate. You got aluminum. Uh, you got some synthetic type stuff. There's a whole bunch of different ways, but they all work the same. Um, we got the Kentucky Redneck, and we got a custom call Josh made for me. Team Hide and Hook. Uh, really cool. He can do that a lot for anybody. So if you're interested, check him out on the website. But uh, quick tip, these have been in my pack. And they've, they've kind of gotten s smoothed out from just rubbing onto my stuff in there. So what I what you got to do is you got to rough up the, the friction area here. And what I use is a piece of sandpaper. And, uh, you know, a lot of people buy sticks and rocks and all kinds of stuff like that. But you can get a big sheet of sandpaper for 50 cents and it'll last two or three seasons if you don't lose it and uh, what I like to do is go back and forth this way and then I'm gonna go up and down this way you can see I just crossed over the pattern that I did the first time this way and then this way okay and then just blow that off a little bit keep the sandpaper because you may, may need it I'll probably lose it I'm good at that well the basic calls you need are uh, you got a cluck you got a yelp and you got a purse and you can cut that's basically a fast yelp but i'm going to show you how to do each one of those calls real quick and then we're going to take you right into a hunt where i used uh one of the, this actual call and called in a little buddy of mine's first turkey he ever shot in his life so uh anyhow start out the simplest one is the cluck and all it is is a quick little pop you just pop you got to hold the striker like a pencil just like this and pull it to you That's kind of a softer type call just for those birds who are really not looking for that aggressive woman. <laughs> and you know who you are. Anyway, you take this, uh, the same thing, same spot, got the cluck, and then a purr. It's really simple. You just basically pull it across, making a little purr sound. Just a sweet little sound. Then, you got the yelp. A little more complicated. It's kind of like the combination between a purr and a cluck. You got a little bit of a purr cluck type deal going on. It makes the yelp sound and it's made like this. Then you just get that rhythm going and that's that's basically the, the sound that you hear those hens. Just imitate them. You can speed up those clucks. That's basically the three simplest calls that you can make with one of these without having to practice for 10 years with a mouth diaphragm or some of you got a gag reflex and it, you can't handle it. I understand. But uh, this is one of my favorite calls to use. But I got one that nobody else has. You're not going to believe this. Josh makes a good call. I love his calls to death. He hooks me up with a couple every year. They've worked great for me. If you don't have one, you probably won't kill a turkey. <laughs> I like to tell everybody that. Anyway, this is an old Indian trick. A lot of people, a lot of people go out in the woods and they they think, oh, you can make a turkey call with a blade of grass. Well, they're right. You can. The thing is, to make it the true Indian turkey call, it's got to be two blades of grass. See, a lot of people don't realize that. I guess they just when they're down there getting that blade of grass, they skimp for whatever reason. What you do is you put it together just like this. You gotta put it together and then you twist it around so that it makes a little air full, okay? And you fold it in half and then you gotta have your index finger cut out of your glove in a hole in the palm, just like this glove, or it won't work, I promise you. You put this, you put this uh, piece of grass right in between your fingers like this, you cup your hand around it and then you'll blow. And it's gonna sound like this. You ready? You're gonna. It's gonna blow your mind. <laughs> yeah. Check out this hunt.
Check out the beard. Show me that beard. Roll him over. He's done. He ain't gonna do it. Where's the beard at? It's on the front. Move his. Roll him over. Oh, yeah. Where's it? Oh, crap. Did you blow it off? Oh, flip it around. It's in here. There it is. Look. Ooh, son. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Woo! All right. All right, we got to get back and show your dad. Eating turkey tonight. Uh -uh. That's it, turkey dinner. Well, we probably won't eat it tonight, will we? No, let's wait till Sunday. Have Sunday turkey dinner tomorrow. You coming out? Uh, Mike for some free turkey. Hey everybody, <laughs> turkey hunting this morning with uh, my little hunting buddy Michael. My kids have gotten too old to go youth season, so I got me a new kid. I adopt him for a weekend every now and then, and. Uh, as you saw in the video, he popped him a really nice long beard this morning. First time he ever been turkey hunting in his whole life. And uh, we managed to coax this big long beard in close enough for him to put the hammer down with a 12 gauge. And uh, you could tell he's a cocky little sucker. And uh, <laughs> we're going to get this thing out of here so his dad can see it and take some photos. So uh, stay tuned. We ain't done killing stuff. Yeah, woo! 